sort of um, there's some things just take a lot of time to sort of get used to, and other things sort of once it's it's there, you kind of used to it in in a second. And for yeah. example, like earlier this week, I was driving uh, um, uh, a, a, a Tesla on on autopilot, and oh, yeah. um, I was driving it for five minutes, and then already you're kind of doing your emails and. And then when you take it off, it just feels like you're you're back in the Stone Ages when you're just you have to, kind of have to drive this yourself. It's so weird. So so you think you do your email while you're driving. You're not even paying attention to the machine to make sure that it doesn't hit some homeless lady who steps out off the median. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, like that one say this. <laughs> thing that did happen. Yeah, with the Uber car. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's. I, I think this things like this will come up more rapidly than people think and i think people I think will so be too. very very quickly they'll be used to it and but it aren't you spo- you're supposed to like look at the road right you're not supposed to be staring down at your laptop yeah okay i just erase everything <laughs> i said for, for the past minute or so have you ever seen the video yeah. of the guy that's falling asleep in san francisco traffic no he's completely asleep he's behind the wheel of the tesla like this <laughs> and the car is like slowing and going with the pace of traffic okay. it's really fascinating because wow. This happened so quickly. I remember yeah. uh, a buddy of mine got a Tesla a couple of years ago, and he's like, dude, I let my hands off the wheel on the highway. And I'm yeah. like, really? <laughs> like, that's happening already? Yeah. But it's not just happening. Like, people plug into their navigate. Here, this guy, look at him. This guy is <laughs> stone dead asleep <laughs> in his Tesla in bumper to bumper San Francisco traffic, and the car is performing flawlessly. Yeah. And I heard there I, was this, uh, this Dutch guy who actually just went to the back of his like in, on the back seat and started changing his clothes and uh, oh god yeah and then apparently that they, they now included the safety feature that you kind of have to touch the wheel every minute or so oh so, that's a new thing yeah yeah and bmw i believe has a similar system but you have to have your hand on the wheel at all times yeah it's you probably better until it's flawless. yeah it's yeah yeah, yeah i would imagine yeah, people are probably doing all kinds of freaky shit in their cars while this thing is on autopilot. It's really I don't quite. Know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's quite amazing how. I mean, there's you, you were just about to show a video of Tesla autopilot crash compilations. It's, sa- <laughs> it's saving people from crashes, is what it's oh. compilation. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure it does. Yeah. What's unbelievable is how few crashes there are, and they said there've hmm. been two fatalities so far. Okay, how many fatalities per capita? versus non uh autopilot cars yeah i mean i would imagine it's far less yeah uh, obviously these cars are also just safer in general so uh they're not they're much safer than i don't know uh, a, a 1990s toyota corolla or something so in terms of the way the construction yeah just safer when they crash so right i don't know how yeah. they compare the statistics but um yeah I, i'm i'm very impressed too it was fun trying it out yeah, I'm impressed and I'm very hopeful. The only my only concern I had uh, my friend Matt Farrow was on last week and he's a uh, car expert and mm. they've actually started an organization to save human driving. They they're literally <laughs> going to be like lobbyists to sure. to, to yeah. you know, I mean, stop if you laws. Be careful it doesn't get banned, right? Yeah, well that's the the concern yeah. is that one day they're going to say you cannot drive your own car yeah. and they're really worried that the, what was the name of his organization? Do you remember? Okay, so, but the the you know they're very serious. He's like, it's going to happen quicker than you think. You're going, it's going to be very difficult to drive your own car, mm. and then it's going to be illegal. Yeah, maybe they should keep areas like the highway one or things like that. It's just something, so some freaky maybe, road yeah. where people can get crazy. Look at me, <laughs> man! I'm steering. Yeah, <laughs> I'm hitting my own brakes. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, I mean, again, these are th- things that. It's most likely inevitable. I mean, this this technology, the way it's progressing, it's going to be safer, it's going to be healthier, lower emissions, all these variables mm. that are going to come into play where people are going to say, no, there's just there's the benefit of driving your own car is not worth the detriment to society. Yeah. And next to that, uh, just if you think about the, the normal rate of converting the entire car fleet to electric it would be around 20 years because that's sort of how long cars last and right you only produce a few hundred million cars a year and there's billions of cars so um so you know if you don't want that to take 20 years well i think autonomy then really has to come into play because if you have uh, autonomous cars you need much less cars out there than you would if they you would have to drive themselves because yes. obviously cars are just driving maybe three percent of their time uh, most of is. the time they're they're just being parked so they can drive themselves i think the utilization of the number of cars would be much higher 
and um, I think that whole transition to electric cars would happen much faster. The Human Driving o Association, a Human Driving Association <laughs> is what it is. Here, pull it, pull it back up again so you can look at it. <clears throat> yeah, the war on driving is here. <laughs> a little paranoid. Yeah. They're a little paranoid, but you, you got to remember Matt Farah is a, an automotive journalist, so yeah. his, his livelihood depends on talking about cars, and he's a real legitimate <laughs> car nut. What is this wrong answer, Trey? What is that? I picked the electric car. Oh, <laughs> you clicked it? This is the wrong answer. Oh. <laughs> you go there, it takes you to the shop. Well, yeah. why is this? It would be a shame. It's just a joke. Oh, I get it that it's just a joke, but <laughs> why would it be the wrong answer? It's just an, an answer. Do you drive? I do, yeah. Do you I drive an electric car or a regular car? Actually, I don't have a car. You um, don't? No, in Holland, you don't really need cars. You just have a, have a bike. But it's fucking freezing there. Yeah. You have, <laughs> you have a coat. <laughs> you just Rain put a coat on and, and just yeah. drive? Yeah. Wow, okay. Hardcore. Right. Listen, I'm a big fan of Holland because uh, I kickbox. So you, right. you guys have some of the greatest kickboxers of all time. Yeah. Came from this one small place. Yeah. It's very unusual. 